Oh my god, what do all of these garbage fight clips have in common? What? Come on, you can spot, you can do this. It's something to do with the stuntmen. Do you see it? Because I sure do. And by the end of this video, you're gonna hate me because you're gonna see it too. Look, this guy throws a punch and he's got nothing left to do. He's just, he's left standing there waiting for the hero to hit him. They don't have an extra move. Throws a punch and I guess he's just gonna stare at her for a little bit. Your audience notices this, and even if they can't articulate it, they know that there's something wrong that's making them bored, and this is how they feel. Now we play the waiting game. This problem is everywhere. No, oh, the waiting game sucks. Let's play Hungry Hungry Hippos. In this clip, it happens two stuntmen in a row. I'm picking extreme examples so that it's easy to see, but it is everywhere. And what happens is, look, your stuntman throws a move and he's just stuck staring at the actor like he's got nothing else to do. There's one thing that you have to do to eliminate this problem from your fight scenes. Look, this guy almost gets it. He's so close. You can see he does his move and then he raises his sword like he's going to go for another move, but he kind of abandons it halfway through. And if you look really closely, you can see the disappointment in his eyes. This guy gets it. It's not too well executed, but watch the guy on the right. So he hits the ground and then he rears his hand back for an extra hit and that's what we want. We want that extra move while he's being hit. It's not a move that's gonna land. It's not a move that's gonna hit the hero. It's just something to fill that space between when the stuntman threw his last move and when the hero actually hits him. Here's a better example. Watch his right hand. Ah, see that? That was so well disguised. He punches her twice, and then the third time he brings it back like he's gonna punch and she counters it. And that prevents him from just standing around, prevents the audience from waiting around too. By the way, all of these good examples I'm using aren't from a hit TV show, they're not from a theatrical release, they're from a Japanese porno. Oh, you heard me. This is a Japanese porn called Super Heroin Close Call Alien Puppets. Yay! Which leads me to the number one rule in choreographing fights. Don't be worse than a Japanese porno. Give your stuntman an extra move. Don't leave your audience waiting. Your audience is going to start to think, No, oh, the waiting game sucks. Let's play Hungry Hungry Hippos. And that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna stop watching and they're gonna go play Hungry Hungry Hippos because it has better action than your fight scene. It's a huge problem. It's everywhere. And all you have to do is give your stuntman one extra move. And if you've got a bad director or a bad choreographer and you're the stuntman, talk to the other actor. Say, look, I'm left here hanging. I've got nothing to do and it looks like garbage. So I'm gonna do an extra little move here. I'm just gonna pull my arm back. You keep doing your thing because I won't hit you, but at least it'll look good. Just please, please, don't let your fight scene be worse than a porn. Don't, oh my god, I, Jesus.